Okay, so this is a serpent gourd vine. This is only one plant. Yes, one plant. And this is how the fruit is supposed to look like. Something long like this. And this plant is on the same trellis as the incense passion vine here. And here's a flower. Now, check this out. Here is a fruit, which is quite weird because this is supposed to be looking like that right there. But instead, it is something like this. I don't know, folks, what do you think? Is it a cross between the serpent gourd and the innocent passion. Interesting, right? Really. Check out this artichoke. How awesome is that? So this guy is in his first year. Um, I normally let all my first year artichoke go to flower. I only like to harvest the fruit of a second or third year artichoke. I believe that the fruit on the, anything after the first year is bigger. Plus, who wouldn't want to see this, right? It's just amazing, amazingly awesome. So I went to my local nursery and bought some more plants. So this is a black diamond watermelon, tromboncino squash, this early frame Prescott melon, a tiger melon, peachu berry, Oh, wow. Look at this, Bill. What is that? It's a papaya. It's a different, it's a Mexican papaya. You want to taste it? Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Let's see if I can go to the light here. Oh, too bright. Look at that. How cool is that? Super cool. Here's another ripe papaya of this week. This guy's pretty small. It's only four inches. Yep, four inches long. And doop, 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 about two and a half inches wide. 
Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and just pick it and let it chill in the refrigerator. Oh, what is that? A dead bee. Okay, not cool. Hmm, look, there's another ripe papaya up there. So that guy's going to come down in a couple of days.